Fox 54 Sports is sponsored by Alpha Insurance. Hey, good evening, everyone. The roads are winning a blue map in Birmingham, continuing today with more regional action in various locations. Here's Naomi Gray with a recap from what happened today at Wallace State. Another action-packed day of high school hoops, starting with the Northwest Regional Semis here at Wallace State College. Winners of today's matchup punch a ticket to the finals. Tipping things off with Class 6A, Hazel Green Lady Trojans, no stranger to the Sweet 16, taking on Hartzell. First quarter, no score. Nyla Collier in the post, fight for the contested bucket, and that'll open up a 10-0 run. Moments later, she'll find Leah Brooks down low for the picture-perfect fade. That one's crowd approved. Hartzell will later end its first quarter drought. Mary Frances Etsidi from the baseline brings this game with an eight. Tigers would hang in there, but the Lady Trojans are just too hard to beat. Samaya Steele for two, and Hazel Green wins it 47-34. Trojans will take on the winners of this matchup. Athens going head to head with Mortimer Jordan. First quarter, Blue Devils up four. Sarah Kanade drills in the triple from just beyond the arc for the seven point lead. Later, Athens trailing nine. Jake Anadi Powers wraps around to the baseline for the finish off the glass. They'd finish the first down eight. Second quarter, Kaylee McEwen wide open from the corner. Triple's no good. Jordan Baylor fights for the board and lays it in to cut into the deficit. But the Blue Devils never fold it. Jalen Pleasant drives it down, hits the turnaround jumper, and Mortimer Jordan wins it 65-41. They'll take on Hazel Green in the regional finals Tuesday. Let's check in with the Hazel Green boys basketball team taking on Coleman for a ticket to the regional title game. First quarter, T.I. Scruggs under pressure, opens up for the jumper, and it's good. Trojans first on board. Moments later, Coleman taps in, Tucker Gambrill slicing and dicing his way to the rim, and one. The three-point play sends the Bearcats in front, and they were only getting started. This time, it's Max Gambrill wide open from the wing. Bearcats take a two-point lead. Ensuing Hazel Green possession, Jalen Curry in double coverage, gets up for the jumper, tied ball game. But here come the Bearcats with an answer. Tucker Cagle breaks open the spin cycle and muscles his way to the rack. And Coleman gets the job done with the 57-48 victory over Hazel Green. Bearcats await the winner of this matchup, Scottsboro taking on Pinson Valley. Second quarter, Wildcats up 10, Tyson Sexton wide open in the corner. Buries the triple for the 13-point lead. A couple moments later, Terry Connor Jr. splits through a pair of defenders for the finish off the glass. 29-21 Wildcats. A little over a minute left in the first half. Tyson Sexton makes his way to the top of the key. Jumper is good. Wildcats up 10. Final seconds before the break, Terry Connor Jr. gets down low for two but the Wildcats would pull away in the second half. They'd win at 79-60, earning a date with Hazel Green in the finals on Tuesday. And action begins at 12.30 here at Wallace State. Reporting on the Northwest Regionals, Naomi Gray, Fox 54 Sports. All right, thank you so much, Naomi. Let's take a look at some of the other scores from on the day down there. Sheffield beating Red Bay's boys 43-40. to 40. Suligen knocking off Tanner 55-44. to 44. And Haddon and Addison, they had quite the battle as well. Let's take a look at the Northeast Regionals now. Those games taking place at Jacksonville State. Sardis um, uh, was a winner over Ramsey. Gunnersville's girls, they went ahead and won. Pisca's girls went ahead and won. Boaz's boys fell to Ramsey. Gunnersville beating Lee's boy, Leeds boys. The, the alma mater of one Charles Barkley by 12. Midfield, they knocked off North Sand Mountain. Section was 40 plus points better than Cleveland. All right, everyone.